Hello and welcome, the Retic here, and we play the Wolf Among Us. And we are continuing right off where we stopped last time, and we gave Colin and Yao a drink, and then got to sleep, and then someone is knocking on the door wildly for some reason. I think. Let's see what that's about. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> Yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Let's see what's under there. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought. I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us? Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. <laughs> the graphic didn't really work. You see, still the the eyes are pretty s well, still pretty. Blah, 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 blah. They are still open, but differently colored now. <laughs> so, excellent mind the hat. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is? It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? 
What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I saw some blood over here. That's where the guy must have come from. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Hmm. Guess there's nothing more. Can't get there anyway. Or go there. Would be a better choice of words, I guess. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should... move her... before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well... Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm going to have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office.
are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Yeah, he's really like everyone. You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift? The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, I don't remember Hi. who she was. 
Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps, after the genie's been freed. No, oh, come on. We have to. We have to do it. Worth a try. <laughs> yes, I mean, I question it only. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Let's get to work. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Hmm, ah, Cinderella. Oh, there's the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I 
mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? With this sort of thing? It's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Hmm, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at the dwarves, they look so evil. Hmm. Me. The huntsman. And him. The woodsman? Yep. Oh, and his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. <laughs> I didn't even know the story. You're getting warmer. But that's me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Beauty in happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. And there she is. Donkey skin. Yeah, that's her all right. A long time ago. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Well, then, I think let's get going. Oh, what was that? Some new piece of information. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. But now we can ask the mirror. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Is it now the strength card or no I can't let's pick all of them. The tower. And those pictures are awfully familiar. First the wolf helps the girl, then the girl dies. Is this and that's the husband. Dead. Oh, nice. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me faith. 
Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. That's what, that's what she said. The lips are sealed. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. And what's he been doing? Step by where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Doug. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Yep, I'm ready. Oh, no, 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 no. No, can I... <sighs> I probably could have used the mirror to see what's up at Toad's place. Did Damn. Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Toad. It's me, Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm Glass not looking forward shoes. to breaking the news to him anyway. <laughs> Cinderella. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Seems we lost him. I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> and what we are out of as well is time. Because half an hour has passed and it's time to say goodbye and see us next time. Till then, have a good day or good night, good evening, weekend or whatever. See you next time.